Hello and welcome to my video, lesson 4.1, what are rational expressions, non-permissible values, and equivalent expressions. So here, just a reminder, if you don't remember uh, some stuff from last year, take a look at the two review videos before this. Um, but basically, here, here we go. Um, what are rational expressions? Well, a rational expression, uh, we have a lot of words here, but basically uh, it's this right here, um, where we have a fraction, and the fraction has a polynomial on top, where this A is here, and a polynomial on the bottom, where the B is. Okay, and uh, just as important, the B, the bottom of your denominator cannot be zero. Okay. Here's the thing, if the bottom of your denominator is zero, you are going to have an error in your calculator, right? So if you, if you go like and you try to type into your calculator 63 divided by zero, you're going to get an error, right? In the same way, you can't have, uh, even if it's a polynomial, you can't end up with zero at the bottom in the end. Okay, so this is important because it comes back to non-permissible values, which we're going to look at in a second. So no dividing by zero, and there's a polynomial on top and a polynomial underneath. All right, so polynomials, what, like, I guess what we need to know, what is a polynomial? Well, a polynomial is when uh, there are terms separated by addition and subtraction uh, while having multiplication and division and whole number exponents in the polynomial. So uh, if we're asking ourselves what are rational expressions, well, I guess we have to remember what examples are not rational expressions. That's the, uh, the, the obvious question then. So if we cannot have whole number exponents, uh, if we cannot uh, have other exponents other than whole numbers, let's look at a couple examples of how things cannot be rational. So it, they're irrational uh, if it has a root, right? A root like this, a square root in this case, um, is the same thing as writing an exponent of a fraction. Okay, that's not a polynomial. A polynomial does not have a decimal exponent. So 3.1, na da da da, not cool, um, not good. Something where the exponent is negative. So in this here, uh, we have 1 over x. That's the same thing as writing x to the negative 1. Okay, also no good. So those are a couple examples of uh, things we cannot have. So no roots, no decimal exponents, and no negative exponents. Okay. We also can't have other types of operations uh, such as factorials. So this symbol, if you don't know what it is yet, uh, we'll look at it a little bit this year, but basically we can't have that in a rational, um, uh, rational expression, okay? unless you separate it out into addition and multiplication and all that stuff, in which case you're not using factorial. All right. Um, so let's try to find some non-permissible values. So we remember in the form a over b, we remember that b cannot equal zero. So the bottom, the denominator, cannot be zero. Okay, if the denominator cannot be zero, well how can we figure that out if we just have some polynomials? Well we're going to have to do some stuff. Uh, for example, we're going to have to factor. So Take a look here at some, some factoring that we could do. So if uh, so, the top cannot be factored, so we're just going to keep it the same. We also really don't care about the top when we're talking about non-permissible values. Uh, but the bottom here is a difference of squares. So you're going to start off by writing uh, or drawing your brackets like this, and you're going to ask yourself, what's the square root of the first term? Square root of x squared is just square, uh, x. So you're going to write that in, and you're going to put a plus, a minus, and then uh, what's the square root of the second term, which is square root of 9 is 3, and you can put that in. And so now we have the factored version of this, or the, um, uh, yeah, the factored version, basically, of this uh, rational expression. And so now at this point, we can actually say, 
what are the um, what are the non-permissible values? So we like to write n, uh, you know what, I'm going to go with a thicker one. Uh, non-permissible values. So what are the non-permissible values? Well, x cannot equal, and then this is where we're looking. So uh, the bottom of our fraction, we have an x plus 3. If this equals 0, then it's 0 times something, which means the bottom of our fraction will be 0. So x, this cannot equal 0. So to move this over, uh, we end up with x cannot equal minus 3. Okay, so let's start with that. And then we do the same thing with the other one. So x minus 3 cannot equal 0. So then we're going to move that over. And so we're left with x cannot equal positive 3. So those are the non-permissible values of x. Okay, looking at this next equation, um, we're going to end up with a uh, x plus 9 on top. And we're going to have to factor, this is trinomial factoring, uh, on the bottom. So normally we like to start with the, uh, the x and then... Um, then I look at if the both of these are positive, then we know our final answer is going to be positive. If, if this one is the only one that's negative here, um, if that's negative, then um, both values will be negative inside here and here. And if this one's negative, um, then one of the two is negative inside here. Okay? So anyways, because they're both positive, I know that the, the answer, the factoring is going to be both positive. And so now I just need to ask, what's the product? What two numbers multiply to get this? So 2 times 2. And then I ask, does that work uh, for the, the second term here? Uh, 2 plus 2. So the first one is product. Uh, then we look at the sum. Okay, and uh, if they both work out, then we factor correctly. Okay, so now the process is talking about NPVs again, the non-permissible values. So what can X not equal? So again, same process as the one above. X plus 2 cannot equal 0. So um, if you move the plus 2 over, it'll be negative 2. And again, X uh, plus 2 cannot equal 0, and again, it's the same number, uh, sorry, neg yeah, negative 2, it's the same number, so it's just one NPV in this case. Alright, so that's non-permissible values in a nutshell. Basically, the bottom of your fraction, uh, you're taking a look at what values of x will make the bottom go to 0. Okay, so taking a look at this next question here, um, find two equivalent expressions by multiplying the following and then after dividing the following. So equivalent expressions, like if you have uh, one half, no, let's go with a different number. Let's go with uh, four eighths and you uh, multiply by two on both top and bottom, it'll be an equivalent expression, eight over 16. It's equivalent. And if you do the same thing, but you divide on both sides, so four over eight, but you divide on both sides by 2, it's also going to be an equivalent expression. right? So as long as you do the same thing to the top and bottom, um, you'll have equivalent expressions. So let's take a look here. Um, and we're going to do the same thing to the top and the bottom. Let's multiply by, and remember we have to do it to the full top and the full bottom. Let's multiply by 2x. So if we do that, we get whoops, 8x cubed plus uh, 36x squared over uh, 8x cubed minus 32x squared. So that's if we multiply by 2x. 
Um, and if we divide by a number, let's divide by, well, let's divide by 2x as well, just so we have the same number. But you can divide by whatever you want, um, in the, but generally speaking with whatever's inside there. Um, so anyways, divide by 2x, so now we'd be left with 2x plus uh, 9 over on the top, and 2x minus 8 on the bottom. All right, so as long as you're doing it to the top and the bottom, they will be equivalent expressions. All right, I hope that this video helps you understand uh, what rational expressions are, non-permissible values, and equivalent expressions. Good luck.